And now, for the moment we've all been anxiously waiting for. Our dancers have been practicing since last year, so they can't wait to show us the culmination of all their hard work. So sit back and relax as we take a voyage through Polynesia. Our first stop is a place that is near and dear to our hearts, the islands of Hawaii. Ilalo Homa Coco Pa Kay Hola Kay Hola K. 
kama kani hali hali ya pua onu uanu kei hola kei hola kama kani hali hali ya pua onu uanu Aya ike kai, aya ike kai, na le hua, ke na na o hilo. Aya ike kai, aya ike kai, na le hua, ke na na. Ikekaiya, ikekaiya, ho inao kai, na le hua ikavaya o hilo. Ikekaiya, ikekaiya, ho inao kai, na le hua ikavaya o hilo. Oh, hilo ho ie. Lava. I luna. Oma kau kau. Ho ie, ho ila, ho ie ka o hue, i ka uka le hua o kula manue, o nauna i ke ala lau o ke kupu kupu, kupu a e ke aloha no ho pono i ka ni oe. E ala, e ala, e ala, a ha e. Makaloala, pua ike alohala, kuka ia ka alohala, pave hi mai na lehua, mai ka ho oku ia halava ila, mahalo e na kua, mahalo e na kupunda la ea, mahalo me ke alohala. Mahalo, make a lohala.
walking hand in hand on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. We were playing in the sun. We were having so much fun on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. The sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. The sound of the ocean rocks me all night long. Those hot, long summer days lying there in the sun. On a white sandy beach of Hawaii, the sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. The sound of the ocean rocks me all night long. Weren't those dances wonderful? Before we continue with our program, I'd like to invite one of our Hui O Hawaii advisors, Grace Wilson, up to say a few words. A few words. I am going to call up our seniors. They have been with our Hui O Hawaii Club for four years or more. <laughs> oh, louder? Thanks, Joanne. Um, so let's start with Zach. Get back up here. Zach Mara Erickson. Oh. Zach is uh, graduating with a bachelor's degree in fat a uh, fish. fish. <sighs> I don't do this. This is not why I'm supposed to be up here. Okay. Fish, wildlife, and conservation biology. Did I get that right? Great. Okay. Next, Andy Herndon. She is getting her bachelor's. She's graduating with her bachelor's degree in biological sciences. And she will, if for all of you who don't know, I work for the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. And she is going to be one of our uh, new first year DVM students. So I get to keep her for another four years. Sharice <laughs> Ongi. Sharice is graduating her, with her bachelor's in biochemistry constantly worrying about her grades, but she did get into vet school and I get to keep her for another four years. Alana Calhoun. She's getting her bachelor's degree in hospitality management. Oh, she's gonna go away, so I'm kind of sad. Miley Mickey. (laughs) 
Miley is also our luau chair, so she organized this entire event. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh. it's okay. We're gonna fix it. Somebody fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Sharice, fix it. That's your job. Huh? Oh! Oh, wait. She is graduating in a, a bachelor's degree in biomedical sciences. And you're going to Pacific University doing optometry. I can't remember that. I only stick with veterinarians. <laughs> Isis Lanigan. She is getting her bachelor's degree in art. And I think you've danced in every luau. Is that right? Except for freshman. Oh, okay, so the last three. Yes. Yeah, okay. Maybe okay. <laughs> Taryn Chalk. She's getting her bachelor's degree in journalism and techno technical communications. <laughs> she did all the posters and the programs. Thank goodness. I wouldn't know what was next. Heather, oh wait, Nicole Wong. <laughs> Nicole's getting her bachelor's degree in biomed biological sciences. Sorry. Um, and she is going to be another one of my first year vet students. I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and I save Heather for last. Oh! Look, Brooklyn again. Who did this? <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> That's what Charisse is for. <laughs> uh, I'll give you your lay after she fixes it. Okay. Heather. Oh, Heather, Heather, as an undergrad, was in Luau for four years. She went home. She came back, came to vet school. And on May 16th, 17th? 16th. 16th at 5.30, we can call her Dr. Kihara in veterinary medicine. <laughs> Enough story. Well, I know. She's fixing it. She's fixing it. We got it. Okay, I have to stall because they need to fix this lay. Are you done? Okay, good. Here you go.
This is my gift of love for you From this land that has nurtured me Cause it remains here in my heart Cared forever by God That was such a beautiful song about appreciating our family created here at CSU. Now let's continue on our voyage through Polynesia. Kia ora, and welcome to the islands of New Zealand, also known as Aotearoa, or the land of the long white cloud. This has been the homeland for New Zealand Maori for the past thousand years. The landmass of New Zealand is the size of the state of Colorado. New Zealand forms the southwestern apex of the Polynesian Triangle and is located 4,000 miles southwest of Hawaii. It is the only part of Polynesia to experience four seasons. Consequently, you'll notice the Maori, whose name means the true people, created significantly different housing and lifestyles than their Polynesian cousins in the tropical islands. Oh, and the appropriate response to a Maori greeting is also kiora, which means good health. The Maori people of New Zealand dance with an implement called poi, which is Maori for the word ball. Maori men and women use this dance to improve their flexibility, coordination, and strength. The Kane dancers will be performing the haka. The haka is a type of ancient Maori war dance traditionally used on the battlefield, as well as when tribes meet in peace. The haka is a fierce display of a tribe's pride, strength, and unity. Actions include violent foot stamping, tongue protrusions, and rhythmic body slapping to accompany a loud chant. The words of the haka often poetically describe ancestors and events in the tribe's history. Yeah. 
Materawa e Materawa 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 e Estoro e Estoro e Estoro e Estoro e Materawa Materawa, 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 Wow, those kind of are fierce. They scare me a little bit. <laughs> and next, we're going to introduce our local FBI from Big Island. Just for a little bit of story time, Uncle Jeremy and Uncle Ace. How are you guys doing tonight? They gone, huh? No more, no more. Yeah. Good. Cool. I did it right, huh? Right huh? there. Right there, right Not there. scary enough. You gotta make me scared. I mean, these kids right here, they already look scared from the last performance. Oh, yeah? You know. So, hey, you guys like hearing one scary story? One real scary story. Bro, if you're so scared, you scary. might as well leave the room right now. Or cover your you ears. You're gonna get some nightmares tonight. So, me and Ace was eating dinner one time, you know, in our grass shack. We're sitting here grinding. The food wasn't nearly as good as at this, at, you know, the Kulu Pig and stuff over here. But, you know, it's comparable. But we're eating, eating our food, eating our food. And Ace was like, hey, you can handle it. pass me to show you. We ran out. So I had to go over to the cabinet. I ran over, ran over, opened up the cabinet. Guess what I don't see? One centipede was oh, like bro. this big. It's huge. It's like, This guy over here is like one little girl like, running away. Ace, save me. I was like, oh, ho, ho. what is that, dinner, huh? That's dinner right there. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is a tough guy right here. I mean, if anybody was going to be scary with the haka, it would have been him because he was like, <laughs> Anyways, that's a scary story for you guys. <laughs> if, anybody, scary, huh? if anybody been to Hawaii, you guys see the centipedes, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's the scariest yeah. thing they you taste will ever good. see in Hawaii. It's all on that baga. <laughs> like, you, see, you come up here, you see the mountain lions, the bears, you think that's scary. Wait till you see the centipedes come out at you, like the big ones with the big champas right this, you know, like they come after you like, ah, you know, that's the scary kind. And the funny thing, they bite you from two ends, you know. <laughs> what? They bite you from the head. I didn't want to They butt, they go like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, actually that's true. They, they cut off the head, it doesn't work, you know. They come after you, it's still yet, they come like <laughs> scorpion style, like <laughs> with a <the> tail. <laughs> they come after you, they, I'm pretty sure they get stingers in the back. Those, like this, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, you guys like hear a funny story instead now? <laughs> or you want another scary story? I get plenty of stories. <laughs> Ace get plenty of stories too. Yeah, mine kind of inappropriate though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about one funny story then? Funny story, when me and Ace came up to Colorado, many okay. people, they don't, they don't know about Hawaii, yeah? So, you know, we go to parties all the time, you know, drinking fruit punch. What you guys thinking? <laughs> Not that kind of parties. We're good boys. We're good boys. We eat food and stuff, you know, at the parties. And people ask us all, you know, like, hey, where did you guys come from? We're like, Hawaii. Like, oh, I know so much about Hawaii. Oh, did you guys, do you guys surf? I hear everybody surf in Hawaii. And then they're like, oh, you got, how do you guys get to school? What they say when, oh. we, when they tell them? Because they're like, oh, we, oh, get, we go on the car. It's, they, it's, it's, it's funny at all, because it's like, oh, wow, we can, uh, we can mess with these guys. 
Yeah, because, you know, we thought at first, you know, oh, maybe they just didn't know. But like, after a couple of questions, we're like, we're just going to mess with these guys. So when they asked us questions, we were like, oh, we ride to school on a sea turtles and, you know, pet dolphins. Yeah. My, like, my, they come back, my you pet know, you dolphin named Kimo. He fetch everything, you know. <laughs> he throw one orange. He get the orange. <laughs> he throw one coconut. He eat the coconut. <laughs> you can, like, ride the dolphin, too, sometimes. You know, you just grab on the fin. But this one time, Ines was wearing our pet dolphins. You know, this is what we're telling these guys, yeah? Riding the pet dolphins. And then these sharks come up right next to us. And, you know, you don't like the sharks. It's more scary than the centipede sometimes. They bigger. They have, like, five. Just a little more bigger. Maybe ten sharks, probably. And then I was like, Ish, got the clubs. And he grabbed the club. He whipped him out. You know, I was like, what do I do? What do I do? I throw him off. Shark hook and stuff, you know. And he was, like, whacking him on this side. And I grabbed my spear. I was like, so You know, and with my club, too. And whacking him on the head, you know. Just like that. Just like that. We act tough, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was like on a high-speed chase, except Hawaiian style. You know, <laughs> if you could, that's pretty much, if you want to picture it like that, that's pretty much what happened. Like, they could have made a cop show about me and Ace. It would have been FBI from Big Island. We were in, like this, all posing with the posters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we would have had clubs just that, you know, the club and the spear in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably still not as scary as those guys doing a haka, so. Okay. You know. Uh, Close I, enough, though. I think I think we get a little bit more right. time, huh? Probably. We we could do one know. contest. The show's pretty much over. I mean, it's just me and Ace now. You know, we've taken over. <laughs> so, you know, I hope you guys are having a good time. Cause <laughs> this is all you get. <laughs> hope you got your money's worth of the food. <laughs> oh, food's on it all. Nah, nah, nah. Nothing like one centipede though. Get plenty more. Get plenty more people going down. Nah, but we 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 could do one contest. I right, hearing all these chihuahuas outside over there. Who like here can do a lot of this chihu? I can't because I get the mic. Anybody, but I kind of see out there, but and you guys like and you guys like try. Like, yeah. with me. We give you guys on prize country club. You go support us. You get huh? one, two, three. Okay, come on. All right. if, you, if you guys like come up on stage or right, stand up. You like just stand up. Stand up. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. Go go. We're ready. Let's hear it. <laughs> Woo! <Ooh. laughs> Sister over there, I can scream. <laughs> Anybody else? They get one prize for this one, you know. Trust me, it's some good prize. Anybody else? It's like an it? iPhone let's 5, it, but not. It. There we pretty go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Anybody else? What about this side? You guys was pretty loud I earlier. I you guys over there. No act. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> I don't like. Everybody gonna look at me. Come on, yeah. let's hear it. Come on. Somebody, somebody. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, look at Uncle in the back. <laughs> I think that's the winner right there. You know what you win? One high five from Uncle Jeremy. <laughs> ah, that's right. I'll give you guys high fives too. Hi, <laughs> folks. Right. Uh, I think that's our cue over there to uh, get off the stage. I know, actually, I think our cue was a long time ago. They were all looking at us like, get off the stage. We're like, she done dance already. <laughs> Sheesh. Right. You guys okay, have a good evening. It's been good. We had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time too. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Can we hear a round of applause one more time for Uncle Ace and Uncle Jeremy? <laughs> our next stop in our journey through the islands is to the island of the happy people, Samoa. Samoans are known throughout Polynesia as the happy people because of their enjoyment of life and their good-spirited nature. Modern Samoa is geopolitically divided into two parts. The much larger independent nation of Samoa, formerly known as Western Samoa, and the relatively small American Samoa, the only U.S. territory south of the equator. Even with the different systems of government, the Polynesian people of both Samoas share a common language and culture. And the traditional hereditary chiefs still exert significant influence on the daily lives of the people. Tattoos, or pea, demonstrate the strong ties many Samoans feel for their culture. Samoans have practiced the art of tattooing both men and women for over 2,000 years. To this day, a man's tattoo extensively covers from mid-back down the sides and flanks to the knees. A woman's tattoo is much less heavy and extensive. The geometric patterns are based on ancient designs and often denote rank and status. The va'a, or canoe, for example, stretches across a man's mid-back. Now put your hands together for our kane dancers. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, ladies. I'm not too worried about the gentlemen, just the ladies. <laughs> Kidding. Joke, JK. Joke. <laughs> My name is Jedda Daifov Taifos Yushu Filosawa Danielson Tofilo. Born and raised in Samoa. My journey here was quite, quite devastating. Kidding. Man, you guys are so serious. <laughs> too serious for me. Okay, boy, we're gonna do a little, the two numbers. More like letters, but numbers. And I hope you guys enjoy it. First one, pay attention. There's a little bit of tradition inside there. It's called Haka in there too. Just focus, mainly focus on me, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys, enjoy. It's gonna take me a minute to recover from that one. <laughs> this next song kind of goes out to the, the most beautiful women in the world, woman. And for that person, I want you to stand up right now. <sighs> Stop it! 
Stop. That's a choke. <laughs> God, I'm running out of chokes since I'm so tired. But uh, this next number is for all the ladies. Not the gentlemen. I don't even care about gentlemen. Just the ladies. Hope you enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, JJ Productions proudly brings to you Jam More Jam! So, sometimes I think about where I was from. Let's continue on our voyage to the islands of Fiji. The Republic of the Fiji Islands is an independent nation, the majority of which is located just over the west side of the international dateline near the equator. Most indigenous Fijians are actually Melanesians, but for 7,000 years, Fijians have been sailing to, interacting with, and intermarrying with Polynesians, especially the people of Samoa and Tonga and other small island groups near there. Like the Polynesian people of Samoa and Tonga, Modern Fijians have held on to many aspects of their traditional culture. They also prefer to wear traditional wraparound, sulu or sarong, especially on formal occasions. Just under half of the population of Fiji are descendants of contract laborers imported from India by the British government over 100 years ago. Fiji today still maintains some aspects of its historical British association, including a parliamentary style of government, which is advised by the Great Council of Chiefs. They also continue to drive on the left-hand side of the road and have developed a deep love of rugby and soccer, or football. So in just a minute, we'll be hearing from the islands of Fiji. Oh! 
Our last stop for this evening is Tahiti. The very name evokes images of exotic tropical islands. They are images well deserved, for the beauty of the islands is matched by the spirit of the Polynesian people and the richness of their culture and traditions. Tahiti today is a modern Pacific nation whose population is a cosmopolitan blend of ancient Polynesian heritage and French culture. While the French influence is undeniable, the Tahitians still take great pride in their ancient Polynesian heritage. One of the most widely recognized symbols of the islands is the world-famous Tahitian dance. There are two types of Tahitian dance, aparima, which is melodic with graceful hand movements, and otea, which features a faster drum beat and a lot more hip shaking. Zach, 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 let's leave Tahitian to the dancers. <laughs> let's give it up for our Tahitian dancers. <laughs>
Okay, before we officially close the program, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge the people who made this year's luau possible. Much mahalo to our Hui o Hawaii advisors, Joanne Cornell, Dr. Luna Ahu Dr. Linda Ahuna Hamil, and the luau committee, and all those who donated their time, resources, and money. And of course, a big mahalo to all those in attendance tonight, because this event would not be a success without your love and support. Now we would like both of our Hui Ohawaii advisors, Grace Wilson and Petra Marlin, to come up and say a few words. I should talk. Okay. <laughs> Petra, sit. Wait, wait, hold her. Too close to her. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll do the first little bit of talking cause, since I barely have a voice today. Um, but we just want to get up here and say a huge thank you to all of the dancers, all of the students that put this on. This is a student-run show. So we'd like to take this opportunity to um, thank some of our key players this year and um, give them some recognition. She did all the decorations, all of them. She folded every single canoe that's on your table. Cole, ready? Cole. Cole. He is our treasurer and cargo person. He keeps everybody balanced. She did all the publicity for the Luau, and this is the first time I've seen the Luau so sell out in a week. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Ale oh, Alexis DeFries. <laughs> Alexis. Okay, so I'm going to say this at every Luau until she graduates. She was here when I was in college, and she was this big. <laughs> that tells you how old I am, too. But Alexis cooked all the food. Yeah. <laughs> all the food. all the donations and thank you very much for everybody who did donate something to the club in this luau and she's the one student I could pick on a lot Miley Mickey she's our she coordinated she coordinated the entire luau uh, she organized every single chair she went after everybody to make sure they were doing everything on time Good job. And Nicole Wong. She is the president of the club. And she also organized all the entertainment. So she got all these people to come in and, and do what they do best, entertain you. Okay. Oh, Nicole, you have to come. Oh, did you get four? Um, no, but those are okay. No, Nicole also taught the senior dance, so I was supposed to acknowledge her for that. Yeah! Ellie and Issa Edwards. Yeah! 
Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you a story. So, so one practice, these two show up, and I go, oh, where are you guys from? And they tell me where they're from and all that. And then I go, oh, you guys have any kids? And she goes, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I do in August. Ellie Jr. So Ellie turned around, he goes, I thought we weren't telling anybody. <laughs> he goes, no, you weren't telling anybody. I can tell whoever I want. <laughs> But they, have, they came into our lives, and I, I, I tell this to everybody. God brings people into your life to make your life better. And these two have definitely made my life better. <laughs> oh, Jenny, too. Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> and lastly, Giselle, another one. that's brought into my life that has made my life better and I've adopted her and her brother because they're just awesome and uh, she's taught all the kids and the girls and they've done an amazing job putting the show together so now I think we're ready for the finale In Hawaii, we always close our gatherings with the song, Hawaii Aloha. This song speaks about the love we have for our home of Hawaii. Please join hands and help us close the event by singing Hawaii Aloha.